Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. In the last episode, uh, we met most of the main, uh, main characters. There's still one more that you'll meet later in the game, but uh, uh, Snow is part of a uh, resistance and uh, accidentally uh, could not save Hope's uh, mom, which Hope gets pissed off about it. Snow goes to meet and find his fiance. Lightning reveals that she's after the Pulse Foul Sea with Saz. And Vanilla and um, Hope decide to go after Snow, so Hope can tell Snow off. And then uh, when we last left off, uh, Snow, uh, Vanilla, and Snow, uh, Hope flew off in a thing in a, in a ship, and they wound up crashing. So that's where we're at right now. That's where we're at right now. For centuries, a false fallacy has slumbered undisturbed on the outskirts of a cocoon city. On the day the lower entity is finally discovered, cocoon's peaceful society is plunged into chaos. The government judges the city's inhabitants. Okay, so basically, they're talking about the purge. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, we're at the part where they are um, crashing. Like I said, Snow and, um, I mean, Hope and Vanille decide to go after. Um, Snow, so that so Hope can throw Snow off about the death of his mother, but they wind up crashing. So this is where we're at now. So we're kind of some some kind of facility. Guess it's just us. What did you expect? Even soldiers know not to go near the foul sea. You become a pulse of the sea, and you're finished. Uh-oh. What do you mean, finished? Haven't you heard, Miss... Vanille. Huh? My name. And yours? Hope. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> what were we thinking? Yeah, wasn't this morning. Well, since we're here, let's look around. I love her Australian yeah. accent, by the way. See, so now we're in the. We're inside the Pulse Fauci? Lower row vestige. Oh, check this out. Hey, Vanille, where are you? I don't know if we're inside the Pulse Foul Sea or not, but it says the Pulse Foul Sea. And she gets this weird looking staff with antlers and well, and yes, that is her weapon. What the uh, fuck is this weapon? And what is and what does Snow use for a weapon? You know, Hope use for a weapon? A boomerang! So we got this real staff looking thing and a boomerang. And we use, uh, this time we're using vanilla. I'm not sure what kind of weapon this is, but it is actually kind of effective and she has some really good weapons. Upgrades later. We unlocked a new shop besides the BMW Outfitters. We actually unlocked a new shop. So yeah, we got Vanille. Before you think about it, Vanille is 18. Uh, she might even be older than that in this game. I think she might be 19, 20. She's old enough. 30 Gil. Well, we're not getting out of here, so let's go look around. How are we supposed to get out of here? Follow the straight, narrow hallway! That's how we get out of here!
Get used to this song, you can be hearing it a lot. Like I said, don't ask me how they do so well with boomerangs and everything like that, but they're, they're extremely effective. So we got Lightning, who uses a gun sword, I mean like a gun blade. And we got uh, Shaz who uses guns, Snow uses his fist, Vanille uses this weird antler staff, and uh, Hope uses a boomerang. We got one more, uh, one more guy, one more character to use we'll find later in the game, but not right now. Oh, uh, just one? Okay. Good thing about, like I said, the battles, though, is that you do automatically heal. So, potions are only really necessary, like, in battles and like that. Because you automatically heal after, uh... Each battle, anyway. Well, can't guarantee that. We got new enemies over here. And these are called Zwerg Scandroid. They're extremely weak. Anyway, four potions. All right. That's a save point down there, I believe. Let's go down here and all vision enemies guard areas limited by their field of vision and unmeet of detention. If you're in a guarded area, there is a chance that the enemy or the enemy's patrolling will take notice. If a trespass is observed, the warning icon will appear over the heads of enemies alerted to your presence. These foes will then become hostile, taking up a defensive position and rushing forward to attack. If your party member comes into contact with the enemy, a battle will begin. The battle will begin normally if the enemy was aware of the enemy's presence. If the enemy was caught off guard, they can make a preemptive strike. Certain enemies like Zerf Grandroids have a swimming narrow field of vision and can always easily be approached unnoticed. It is always advantageous to do so if possible if initiating a presentment strike basically uh, increases their dagger meter by a lot. So, but I'm not going to worry about those too much. Gonna regret this. These things are extremely weak, so. And done. So. Alright, in this chest we get. An iron bangle. We will add that to Go ahead and add that to uh vanilla. Guys, to get used to this song because you're going to be hearing it a lot. Alright, uh. Hope is weak as hell. I think. Mean, well, he's not weak, but he's just got low HP. can easily become one of the, the more powerful characters in the game if you uh, 
know what you're doing. Aren't you scared? Not so much. You really don't get it. Hmm. Hmm. Hans Falsy and Lucy are bad news. That's why Cocoon kicked them out. Live too close to the Falsy, one way ticket to Pulse. That's the purge in a nutshell. Yeah, she gets it. You'll purge us too. And then. What's your problem? What's my. Pulse is hell on earth. Hmm. Uh oh. We'll be okay. Calm down. <sighs> Get off me. He wants no. Sarah! Oh god, got through here. Got through here. I'll control. I'll take care of that in just a second. I need to charge up my battery real quick. Alright, come on, battery. And now we're about to take pace of snow, I believe. Don't worry, Sarah. Your hero is on his way. There we go. Ah! Battery! Come on, there we go. Now it's in. Battery! Hmm. Wonder what that's for. Alright, come on. Move up. Oh, and I mean, I gotta get my battery set on my... There we go. All right, now we're in charge of snow again. All right, then we got a new store. If you need some iron bangles, you can buy them, but we don't have any money anyway, so. Is this still chapter one or we're in chapter two? Well, we'll find out. Yeah, we're in chapter two. Let's go back here and get some items. Two potions. And why snow here? Oh, whatever. So they're, they're pa everybody's paths are getting ready to cross here in a little while, so just be ready for that. Do we have any enemies? Yes, we do. But Snow actually is strong enough to be able to take care of these. Nothing to worry about. Watch this. Boom! Boom! Snow is a tank. Pretty soon we'll be out, we're about to be getting some more aspects of the of the battle system. And yeah, we're about to actually start being able to level up and do a level up system here soon, so. Alright, come on, controller. I'm not worried about HP because I can really heal up at the end of the battle. And Snow should, I mean, Snow should be able to take care of this. Really? You can press Y to end the uh, combo early if you need to. No, over there. No, over there. The only way we can go is forward. Just hold on, Sarah. Sarah! <sighs> Alright, so. Yeah, we now have way more paths.
But now I have way more paths. Now we're back in vanilla, we lightning and sass. We were trying to get into the poor spell city. Ready to uh, cross. Hey! What you, how'd you open it? Well, after you. <laughs> after everybody's paths are getting ready to cross, so just be prepared for that. And now we're. Shroud is a special single-use aerosol that can only be used outside of battle and grant the party tactical advantages. Vertisol and Aegisol bestow their bonuses at the start of battle. Deceptisol, on the other hand, shields the party from enemy detection, eliminating any concerns of being spotted and attacked. It is useful for avoiding combat and also for launching preemptive strikes. The enemies like Pantherons who fill the vision on the modern wide areas normally turn hostile to display warning side. A prior span Deceptisol, however, and you have no trouble getting a game here. Uh, press LB while exploring, use a shroud, and do you. So basically. Ah, come on, controller. Now you get to see what a printer strike looks like. Boom! 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 To so nobody's surprise though, Snow has the highest MP right I mean HP right now. But yeah, everybody's from pal across from pals and getting oh. This will probably be a good time to use a deceptive song. Hold on one second.
Alright, sorry, I had a phone call. I had a phone call. Alright, let's try another deceptive solve. I got, I got, God bless, these stupid controller. These things are very easy to print the strike, so. Well, I didn't print the strike this time, but it's alright. But well, they're just so easy to kill, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, anyway, we get. A Phoenix Down! Well, Phoenix Downs are act a little weirdly in. Uh-oh. We get a... Ah! A mirror Maiden. Things are a little tough. Just use your potions and you can get through it relatively easily. Nothing, nothing real spectacular about these, the things that we've already fought. But yeah, my next 8-bit summer LP has already been picked out. And we'll be doing that after I uh, uh, record a few videos of 13. Then we'll do my next 8-bit summer video. It's already been picked out. God bless this stupid controller. Which is a new weapon for it gives you uh, more strength, but you lose magic. We'll look at the next episode. We'll look at the uh, data logs. But oh my god, this stupid controller! I am really getting annoyed with this controller. Controller.
As you can see, the weapon did change up. It's not that no, way more powerful weapon, for sure. Alright. So I'm hoping we get to a save point here soon. Those things are still around. Might be some soldiers trapped in here, too. Except they'd probably be the sea by now. Maybe. Not even human anymore. This pulse the sea. The enemy's a cocoon. Can't show them any mercy. Well, I guess we'll have to see. And now we're going to be switching back to... Vanilla and Hope, I believe. Nope, snow. There's the next one. Let's get some treasure chests if they're available. Doesn't look like it. I know treasure chest. Oh, there is a treasure chest right here in the middle, though. Two potions. All right. Come on, find me a save point so I can go in and call this a video. It's already becoming a longer video, but that's okay. First, and it just makes this battle a whole lot easier. Boom! There we go. Well, there's the next one. Find me a save point. Hang on, baby. Your hero's on the way. Shut up, Snow. Yeah, but everybody's path's gonna be crossing Hang pretty on, soon. Baby. Your hero's on the way. They can actually hear Snow, so they're close. Tell him off, go what tell him off. Sale change what happened. Hmm. We could just run away. No, I don't think I. Uh, uh, well, he agrees to that. All right, let's go back to get to the save point. Alright, we're gonna call it a video here when we come back. Everybody's past is gonna to continue to converge. And uh, then once everybody's past converge and we get some stuff like that, we'll be able to actually, you know, use the leveling up system and get some new stuff for the battle system. But right now, we're still getting everybody's past to converge. But we'll do that next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 13. This is Geek 3 of the Crazy Gamer. Signing out.